here with the Imperial Palaces is it's massive. What the Jesus Christ, I've never seen such a massive park. And we're not even we're not even in we're we're kind of in the middle of Tokyo, but still this is this is incredible. I mean look at it. Look at it! Look at all that! You see that? You see that? Sadly, I can't go in because um, access to the public is forbidden, but guess who's trying? I'm trying. Uh, in New Year, apparently the door's open, so I shall try. Let's see, but quite cool, quite cool. Tokyo, Tokyo's amazing. Like always, don't even know why I'm wearing sunglasses anymore. But yeah, today I went to the Imperial Palace, beautiful. Uh, you'll see the footage in a while. My camera's about to run out of battery, I think. So um, I'm probably gonna use my phone to record things. So it should be all right, the quality is good. But I don't know how long this is gonna last. I don't even know if it's gonna last through this take right now. But yeah, today I'm um, not sure what I'm doing. I've been to the Imperial Palace, it's beautiful. I'm going to Tokyo Tower, the rip-off of the Eiffel Tower, if that makes sense, that one. I'm gonna look at that, head back to the hotel probably, recharge this camera here, her name's Matilda by the way, recharge my phone, and then I'm probably gonna go to some light show tonight. Someone's shouting really loudly. There was a marathon going on. I don't know what's happening, Tokyo's absolutely nuts. Let's carry on. Okay, so the area next to the Imperial Palace and just in front of Hibiya Park. To the right is Ginza, um, the very expensive shopping street. They're just saying in Japan that if a store, uh, a, a, sh a retail company has a store on Ginza Street, that's when they made it. Anyway, the area here is beautiful. It's so nice. There are birds swimming in the water. I think they're stupid seagulls. Don't like those things. <laughs> but it's, it's beautiful with the sun out. It's, it warms you up from the cold winter weather and oh, I'm in paradise. It really is. It's just, it's just beautiful. That's a biker. That's me. Let's go to Tokyo Tower. This is the first time I'm in a Tokyo subway station when there's basically no one here. This is, this is very, very strange. Meter line, go there if you don't like people. Okay, so I repeat, I've never seen a Tokyo subway station this empty. This is number two. There's some people back there. Those were four people that were work, work, walking. Walking here. Otherwise, it's empty. This is weird. However, it seems that there is a temple next to Tokyo Tower. Qu quite cool. Le let's go.
Okay, so this is my fourth time taking this shot and I planned not to do shots again, but the lighting is terrible in the city. I'm hoping it's okay now, but I don't know. Anyway, the normal deal with these observation platform things, Tokyo Tower there, helicopter there, I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, the normal deal is that you pay a lot of money for a crowded place with mediocre views, so you're normally better off hiking some mountain in the close distance or going to a skyscraper, which is free. There's some people shouting there, cool. Um, but in Tokyo, that's not true. Tokyo Tower offers incredible views over the city. Breathtaking, magnificent, beautiful, incredible. I ran out of words. <laughs> um, the sun was setting, Fuji was in the background, the city, uh, the lights went on, the city went dark. Uh, beautiful. There was even a football field just next to Tokyo Tower. Really cool. I want to play there one day. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. The price is alright. It's 900 yen. Uh, that's seven dollars, six euros. Is not really worth mentioning. And the view is incredible. So definitely come to Tokyo Tower when you're in Tokyo. Japan is a beautiful country. You won't be disappointed unless you come on a cloudy day, and then it's your fault. Anyway, plans have changed. I'm not going to the lighting show thing anymore. Instead, I'm going to Akihabara because I need to buy something. That's the crazy electronics district I covered in a previous vlog with tons of lights, tons of stores, crazy anime stuff. Really cool. Let's go to the subway and let's make sure we get there. Okay, so that was my time here in Akihabara. Very, very short today. I only went to buy something. I found a really, really cool phone case. I'll show you guys that tomorrow if I don't forget. Um, anyway, uh, you guys have a good day. Today was a really good day. Hope you like this new kind of style of vlogging now, um, where I take one take and one take only. So, I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you all fresh tomorrow morning.